The first thing I did was I began to boil some water and I didn't put a lot of water, it's pretty shallow as you can see. And then I used an old can from some goods and I just put in chunks of candle. So I used old candles around the house that needed to be broken up. You can obviously use newer candles to melt, but because I had some pieces here and there, I just decided I was going to mix these all together and uh, melt them. Now these are not scented, so I'm going to add a little bit of essential oil. You can choose your favorite smell. Right now I'm using sage, but you can use any essential oil that you love to diffuse in your home or use in your home and I'm putting about 30 drops now this tin is not very large if you have a larger tin of course your ratio should increase but because I had a small tin here um, 30 did the trick and then I cut some cotton string from the Dollar Tree and attached it to a popsicle stick I dipped it in the melted wax and that stiffens the cotton thread and then it's going to be used and placed into the little jars that I have. I went out on a little nature walk with Scarlet, so I'm using some pine. And then I had some dried flowers from last spring. I always like to collect pretty little flowers from, <laughs> they're wild flowers, but I always like drying them and using them in my craft room. So I thought we would combine those as well. I'm gonna flatten out these little mini pine cones and they're just going to be used inside the little jars and I'll show you the, the little mini mason, mason jar and the little yeah, they're both like little mason jars from the Dollar Tree this one here and the smaller one and they're both you can find at Dollar Tree so what I want to do is actually place some of these little natural pieces into the candle so you can kind of see it peeking through the front face of the jars and what I'm just doing is I'm going to apply some melted wax and use it as like a glue base to secure some of the pine in the front and some of the pine cones and you kind of have to hold it in place a little bit till the wax dries or solidifies and then I'm taking a couple little pieces of these wildflowers I don't even know what these are I find them along um, just growing amongst the weeds and then I pick them I bring them home and I just let them dry so again I'm gonna apply some wax and I'm just using a paintbrush for this and then I hold down the flowers in place if you have other suggestions or tips on how to do this please share down below because as I was doing this it's kind of a learning process for me this is not something I normally do I'm sure a lot of candle makers out there will give me way better suggestions but I was like hmm the wax is kind of like hiding when I tried to Use, this, use it as a glue, it's kind of hiding the flowers, so it's probably better to just plop the flowers in place and then add the wax. Yeah, I think so, maybe putting it on top. So anyways, this is something I'm just playing around with, kind of learn as you go. I guess like the best would probably be like to have some sort of separation I'm not sure like I have some beautiful large candles that have all sorts of flowers in them I'm trying to mimic that but inside a jar the problem with it is the one that I have it ends up it, it's just exposed it's in a, a candle form it doesn't stay in a jar right so it's just the raw candle and I guess that's what happens like if you did this in a mold and then broke the mold off 
for example, then I think you'd have a really nice crisp look of the flower. But the way I'm doing it is not giving you that feel that I'm going for, but we'll see how this turns out. We're, we're, it's a work in progress and we'll see if it turns out the way I'm envisioning in my head. If you have candles like this at home, these are easy as well. Like if you have certain colors that you don't really like and you just want to mold them into something, this is a perfect opportunity to use those. So you want to be sure that your entire cotton string is dipped in the wax and then you're just going to position it into the jar. You can use a much larger mason jar to do this. I used very small ones just because they're in my craft room and I, I just prefer to have a smaller candle but you can do a lot bigger of course. And then now I'm pouring the wax right into the little jar. I'm leaving the popsicle stick in its position just so that the little wick is going to be in the center of the candle and now I'm just going to cut up some of my favorite pieces here dry flowers and stuff and just kind of put it along the top for decoration while the wax is still warm and um, I'm going to snip back some of the cuttings that are kind of peeking through the top of the little jars you can leave it sticking out it's totally up to you what you prefer the coolest thing I think that would work out really nice is if you actually had a mold and then kind of peeled back the mold all of your details would be visible from the flower petals and the green the greenery and stuff that's in there i love this this is a weed um and i just think it looks pretty it almost like reminds me of baby's breath You also can just repurpose old candles and melt them and then make new candles with a mason jar. So keep that in mind if you don't want to do any of this extra stuff that I've done here. <laughs> um, just melt some old pieces of candle, bring them all together. You know, you might have some ends of a candle here and there or pieces that don't um, light, don't melt anymore because they don't light up anymore. You just pop them out of wherever they are and melt them and bring them together and then you can repurpose and make new candles so once they dried you just want to snip off all the extra pieces that you have here and now you can easily light them and you have these beautiful little recycled upcycled repurposed chunks of candle into brand new little candles I love them they're so cute they're right next to my coffee bar and I just think they're they're really sweet looking Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed these ideas or this idea and um, I look forward to seeing what you guys are creating with your old candle pieces. Till next time, stay safe. Bye everyone. I know you've had a really bad day. The world could fall